Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This one will be relatively quick, but it's just um, an answer to a question that I received on the channel. Can I use a, a nebulizer during or after a chest infection? And I think that's uh, that's a pretty good one because lots of people have nebulizers around their house, uh, you know, bought for their children, for all kinds of uh, respiratory problems. They're very common, commonly used machines. And I think to some extent that they're very helpful, especially if you do need a nebulizer it's good to have one around the house, especially if you've got a clean mask, clean tubing. If you're using pharmacological solutions, you're not just making up your own sort of salty water or some other strange thing. So if you can use, first of all, if you're trying to use a nebulizer to help with the respiratory symptoms after a chest infection, let's, let's just say that's the situation or during a chest infection. First of all, you need to be really careful to use clean, uh, clean masks, clean recipients for putting the uh, the actual solution in there so if you are using these sort of things in a clean manner you're avoiding further complications because you don't want to breathe in all kinds of gunk junk from germs from unwashed nebulizer devices the second thing is if you're trying to use these for respiratory symptoms it's probably quite important to know what sort of solution you're using in there are you just using normal saline so if you're using just normal saline, it may or may not have a lot of benefit for you. It's just basically salty water, the same salinity as your own body's tissues, the same salinity as the mucus in your in your chest. So it may help you humidify your your airways a little bit. It may help them. It may soothe them to some extent. It may not actually fix the problem. So if you do get a benefit, fine. But if not, I wouldn't obsess about using nebulizer just for the sake of using it rather than keeping well hydrated taking you know your prescribed medication etc if you are using however potentially salbutamol for asthma for asthma attacks if you if you do suffer with asthma and that chest infection has triggered a lot of asthma attacks it's probably a good idea to have a nebulizer around the house you don't necessarily have to use it but you can use it as needed especially if you're using your bronchodilator medication or maybe something like an inhaled corticosteroid that was prescribed by our doctor for that specific purpose to help you control the asthma during that chest infection and just after because the airways may be irritated you may be getting a lot of asthma attacks so in that sense it can be helpful to use a nebulizer and other than that, I don't know if there are a lot of use cases. I would say nebulizers are helpful if you are struggling to, to cough out your secretions, if they're really dry and drinking plenty of water doesn't help. If your airways are quite irritated and you're just using sort of normal saline to soothe your airways a little bit, or if you're, like I said, you're having these asthma attacks and your doctor has prescribed some specific medi nebulized medication, aerosols, to help control those symptoms. Other than that, I'm not sure if there are a lot of other use cases for nebulizers in this situation. Also, you need to be mindful. So in the case of COVID, so that this was a fairly big topic of debate about aerosol generating procedures. So if you use a nebulizer, it is an aerosol generating procedure. Obviously, you may be coughing. So you, you inhale that medication, saline or whatever it is, but normally mo many people will start to cough once they use the nebulizer so that produces you know little droplets that you cough out into the air so if you are trying to protect your family members from getting your own infection so if you're having a viral illness and you're not really well i would say if you're using a nebulizer do so in your own room and maybe don't do it with other people around to try to protect them from giving them your own infection. And once you're done in that room with using the, the nebulizer, it's probably a good idea to open the windows, you know, just clear the air in the room, well ventilated the room, to reduce the risk for your other family members, friends who may be passing through that room, coming to help you, care for you, etc. So I, I just wanted to make this sort of uh, response in to, to the comment that I received. It's a good question. I, I think nebulizers can be helpful. It's probably good to have one around the house for, for these sort of situations. But don't ex expect miracles from a nebulizer. For some people it may help, for some people it may not. And if you can, use prescribed medication, pharmacological medication that's clean. 
So, so that's very, very important. Thank you very much for watching. If you have further questions, do leave them in the comment section below and I'll uh, try to make more videos for you. Thank you very much.